So I made this video over a few days testing out the Foytech 3 axis gimbal and we actually made a pretty shocking di discovery while we were out testing. What the heck? Okay. final video on the Fiotech 3 axis gimbal now that I've had some more time using it. After our initial video on the Fiotech 3 axis gimbal, I was pretty happy with it. It seemed like it was going to work out pretty good, but as we did some further testing, putting it on different mounts, we found the video just was way too shaky as you can see here. Right here we're using the stick-on uh, GoPro mount with the, Go the action cam mount attached to the three-axis gimbal. Uh, it's got about an inch and a half riser and you can see how much it shakes. I definitely expected this to take a lot more of that shake out. Now what we come up on next here while we were doing our test is pretty surprised to find laying in the middle of the road. Okay. At first I thought maybe somebody had lost it, but when I went up and saw that the inside was completely gutted out, I knew for sure. I knew somebody was taking this out to dump it. Okay. Now, through watching other YouTube channels, we're starting to see a lot of more, a lot more people documenting this kind of stuff that they find out in the bush. I know Chrome from Van City Van Life recently had a video where he found a burnt out car and what was left of an encampment where somebody was squatting in the bush. I know Jason from Primal Outdoors from his trip to Colorado was finding all kinds of garbage in the bush and. It's getting quite sickening out there, and this is what's causing a lot of us to lose our access to the back countries. People doing this kind of stuff, nobody wants to see it, and there's no need for it. It's just play people being lazy. How'd that go off? The people's trailer. Yeah, that's what happened. And when I got back into cell service, I made sure I phoned the proper authorities, let them know where it was. I'd taken it off the road, so it was no longer blocking the road. And our local tow guy here in Clinton, BC, Steve's towing, uh, he went out within a few hours of me moving it and removed it from the bush. We found it right here. Huh? <laughs> on this clip, we're using another stick on GoPro mount using the action cam mount for the gimbal. I switched the riser from the inch and a half to the one inch to see if maybe the lower riser would take some of the, the shake out of it. It reduced it a little bit. Uh, the rest of the clips here in the truck all use that one. Um, but I still think it's too much shake to be usable footage. This last little uh, clip here, I've got it mounted using a ram mount with the pipe mount on the handlebar of the ATV, and you can see just just the machine idling, how much it vibrates. So my final thoughts on this gimbal is it would be better suited for slower speed activities, hiking, mountain biking. It did pretty good on the chest mount on the quad. Um, I'll probably continue using it on that because that would give me the the most stabilized footage. But other than that, like for speed running on the quad or even 
you know, just drive down the logging road on the truck. It just, I, I found it, it just vibrates too much for that use.